Hey love bugs, it's Rob from back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the support. Come and see what I'm about today. And if you have not already, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a big thumbs up. That would be appreciated. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback and I always make sure I reply on every comment that I get. And thank you once again for the support. And for my returning subs, fam, thank you so much for the support and love. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you for the support once again. My video is about Twin Flame 101. Signs to know that you are put on this earth to do something great. Today I'm listening to... Indian background flute music, instrumental med meditation, yoga, spa for relaxation. So I will go ahead and put that in the link down below. So it, it was just I was out meditating in nature today and it just felt so good. And it's just like I was watching all these different videos yesterday. And one came across is like the thing the signs know that you're you're meant to be something great. And I'm just like, yes. It's just because it made me go all the way back on my childhood about things that I used to think about, things that I wanted to do. And you know when you were little, you, you used to grow up saying, Oh, I want to be a superhero, or oh, I want to save the world, or oh, I want to be president, or oh, I want to be a firefighter, or, or I want to be a police officer, something positive that you know you're gonna pay your debts to society you're making your your you know your contribution to the world and it's just so many things i used to do like that i used to you know well especially when we lived in swainford germany i loved it there even though it was cold all the time it seemed like but i loved it there you know you get to see the you know the different architectural buildings and the castles and all the beautiful fields and stuff like that and i used to always love to do that stuff like that i used to tell my mom i have royalty in my blood or I want to, you know, when you know when you're little, you always know something big. It, it's just, you know it from your gut. Even when you're little, you know, it may not make sense of it, but you knew that you were going to do something great for the world. And these are the signs to let you know. First, like I just said, you you know when you're in your early childhood, you already know that you're going you, to be something great. You don't, you can't explain it. You don't know why, but you probably told your parents that or family members or friends. They might have looked at you and like, yeah, you know, go ahead. And another thing, you might not be good on certain jobs. You know, it's just saying like you, you don't work well under other people. You don't like, you know, the rules and regulations, the way they do things. You were born to be a natural born leader. You were born to do something on your own. You know, it's just like it's some people like they used to like my family members and friends like, girl, you can't keep a job or nothing. It's just like, you know, I don't mind doing rules and regulations, but some of the stuff just don't make any sense. So I would lose jobs or I just quit one of the two because it was just like we didn't mesh well. I always wanted to have my own business and do my own thing and didn't want to work up under people. And it's just like a lot of jobs I went to. You know my um co-workers and stuff like that it's just like you were always meant to be management or something like that you don't look like you should be out here with us i'm like are you serious and, you know and i was thinking it back in my head not to be conceited or anything i always wanted to do that because it's just i don't know and it was like i remember one time i was working at the store helping put this clothing store together and somebody thought i was management when i was working there just to how i carried myself and I was like, no, I'm doing doing the same thing like you are. It's like, oh, wow, you know, I would thought you were management because they were asking me all these questions. I, I'm like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> and they were just like that. So that's another sign to let you know. And you are perfectionist. We will do things over and over again. Like my videos, when I love doing my videos, and I say that a lot in my videos. I love what I do because that's another sign. When you know you found your path and your purpose in life, you, if you love the thing that you do, you will even do it for free. But you're not going to do that. But I'm just saying, you would do it for free. You enjoy what you do. You think about your job when you're not on your job. Because there's times I could be chilling, you know, with my, my, my daughters or, 
you know, a few friends or whatever, and I'm just like, you know, video off I want to make today, or, oh, you know, something will come across my mind or a saying or something, I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to make this in my video today, or, or yeah, I'm going to make this, you know, bring it up in my video. So, that's another thing, you know, it, it, it's just like you... You, you think about your when you're on your life journey and your life purpose and you finally know because there's a lot of times that we are clueless on knowing what we're here for. You don't understand why you're going through the stuff that you're going through, but you know you're going through it. So these are the signs to let you know. You know, a natural born leader, you can't work well up under others. You can work well with others, but you just can't work up under people you were meant to go ahead and have your own business or do whatever you had to do but you had to be the leader so and you thought about it early childhood and you're a procrastinator and sometimes that can self-sabotage you at times so you don't want to just sit up here and wait and there's sometimes that you won't do something until it really motivates you so these are the signs to let you know that all the things that you were meant to be on this earth for a bigger purpose, for a greater purpose. And I hope you enjoyed my video today. Please drop me a line, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. And even give me a big thumbs up. Drop me a line or two and I will keep you guys in my prayers, keep you love bugs in my prayers. I'm going to stop saying guys because that's not politically correct. But my love bugs, I'm going to keep you in my prayers and I hope you do the same for me. Drop me a line or two. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. Extend our family. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild. Oh, what?